What is going on guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today I have an underused match, this one is against David, and I decided to switch things up a little bit, play some UU, just basically because I've been playing a lot of PU lately and I wanted to switch things up. But I'm using a team that my buddy Garrett gave me, um, it's actually really cool to use, it, it fits my playstyle kind of perfectly, so it's, it's pretty fun to mess around with. But looking at my opponent's team, I do notice that he has a Lucario that my team doesn't handle that well, along with things like the Sticky Web on the Galvantula, and overall he's got a pretty well-rounded team, so let's go ahead and hop into this one. Alright, so from the team preview, I expected him to want to lead off with that Electric-Ass Spider, just because, you know, he's going to get them Sticky Webs up. So, I decided to throw out Cobalion, that's mainly because I want to get a Volt Switch to be able to break this thing's Focus Ash. These things always do generally carry Focus Ash to ensure that they can get them webs up, so I'm going to Volt Switch and then be able to go into something that can better handle this dude. And plus, I'm not really all that worried about the Sticky Web as long as I have time to Rapid Spin with the Starmie on my team. So, I decided to Volt Switch right into the old Crocodile. Zyle Dundee, who comes in looking pretty damn intimidating, about to rob your ass. Well, mostly your HP, but yeah. So he does go for the Sticky Web, sets that up. I'm really not too worried about it at this point, as I'm just going to go for an Earthquake. He ends up staying in here, and I am Choice Scarfed, which is the reason why I was able to outspeed. He probably was just going to go ahead and um, go for the Energy Ball or something along the lines of that, but that is going to be a dead spider. Always nice to, to crush a spider, because fuck those things. But now he's going to bring in the Fat Turtle. I'm expecting him to obviously go for like a Water Attack, so I'm just going to switch into Starmie, and I figure this is a perfect time to be able to get my Rapid Spin off. He doesn't have a Ghost type that can block it, so I don't have to worry about that. So, he is going to Mega Evolve. This fat ass is going to go ahead and uh, bust a fat cannon out of his ass somehow, and um, it gets a lot scarier. I know that these things do carry Dark Pulse, but I know that as long as I get my Rapid Spin off, Starmie kind of did its job, and I'm not really too worried about it. So, he does get the burn, which is really not that big of a deal, obviously. Special attacker. I am analytic, though. I don't have natural cure, so I can't switch out and get rid of that. But I go for the rapid spin, knowing I'm going to be faster. I expect him to go for the dark pulse here and just take me out. But he ends up going for water pulse, which was I was, was kind of interesting because he has he's running scald and water pulse, which is kind of crazy. But uh, he, I'm assuming maybe he predicted a switch there or something along the lines of that. But anyway, I do actually end up living the burn damage with 3 HP, which is kind of insane. As I do go for a thunderbolt here, he predicts that, and he's just going to go into his Neo King, which is a nice play because I'm going to die to my burn damage. So it does kind of suck that Starmie went down without really doing anything other than rapid spinning those webs away, but it is kind of nice because I don't have to worry about that spider coming back because I already took care of it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Mega Aerodactyl as I can scare this thing out with Earthquake, and he's going to switch into his Reuniclus. Um, I do gain some intel from that. I know that he is going to be a physically defensive one, so that's kind of nice to know here as I'm going to go ahead and get prehistoric on dad ass, and I just go for the Earthquake, which doesn't do very much damage at all. I don't carry Crunch on this thing, so I don't have a whole lot to do to it, as uh, he eats that Earthquake up rather nicely. This Fetus is over here just bouncing around, having a grand old time, and I don't want to stay in here because uh, I obviously just can't hurt this thing very much, plus they do generally carry Recover, so... I'm just going to switch into my Alolan Muck, because I do handle this thing very nicely. I'm Assault Vested, so I can take any special attack this thing wants to hit me with. He goes for the Focus Blast, and obviously that thing should be renamed Focus Miss, because it never hits. As Here I'm going to go for the Pursuit. I really expected him to switch out, knowing that Focus Blast wouldn't even really hurt me too bad, as uh, he actually stays in and goes for another Focus Blast, which is really going to do like no damage to me at all, and that's, that's awesome. Honestly, I love Alolan Muck. I don't use this thing enough, but... Uh, one of my favorites for sure. So I'm actually just going to go for the Pursuit again. I figure him seeing that amount of damage, he's, there's no way he's going to stay in, but he is actually going to end up staying. I do get a critical hit and the Poison Touch, which is kind of funny. The Poison Touch doesn't matter because this thing has the Magic Guard ability, and he is now going to go for a Recover. So at this point, my Pursuit Trap has not been working. I know he might want to stay in here again, so I'm just going to go for the knockoff this time. It'll do a lot more damage than Pursuit if he stays in, and plus I can get rid of that Leftovers and stuff. So I go ahead and tell him to knock it off. Smack him right in the face. It does a solid, sizable amount of damage there, as he is going to end up just going for another Focus Blast and misses. So, not looking too hot on the ratio of, of Focus Blast, but you, you can't really expect much from that. So, I finish him off with one more knockoff. Down goes the Reuniclus, and Muck is just out here having a, having a fucking rave, just tripping out on his colors and shit. But, now he brings in the Nido King. Um, I don't want to take a ground attack from this thing, so I'm just going to switch into Aerodactyl again, as he does go for um, Smart Strike, which I was expecting... Earth Power, Smart Strike actually comes in for super effective damage, but I am 
able to live it relatively nicely, and then I can outspeed the Nido King and go for an Earthquake. So he is going to switch out. That Nido King is looking pretty useful, as now he's going to switch into the Amber Palm. So Earthquake comes, go ahead and shake the ground a bit, as the Amber Palm actually ends up living this, which I was not expecting, but he lives it relatively nicely, and at this point, I don't want to take a, uh, a fake out, so I'm going to go ahead and switch. I do know that the Aerodactyl's looking pretty nice against his team, plus I do have a full... Full health freaking Scizor in the back of my team. He's, he's named Run because you don't want to run with Scizor because that's how you get bullet punched right in the face. So the fake out doesn't do a whole lot to me. I am um, pretty defensive in both defenses here and HP. This thing is basically meant to just tank hits, swords dance, and then just priority bullet punch you to death. So he's now going to U-turn as he is going to switch right into the Blastoise. I believe I go for a U-turn of my own here, which is perfect because that gives me a matchup on this thing. Plus, I also get a you know a, a nice little chunk of damage against the Blastoids. So I'm just now going to switch back into Play Dome. This is kind of my best thing to handle this because I can take in special attacks pretty nicely. As uh, he goes for the Water Pulse here, I'm just going to try to hit this thing with the Poison Jab and try to get some poison or just as much damage as possible as uh, Blastoise eats that up pretty nicely. And I do get the poison, so Muck is doing his job in regards to you know spreading the poisons around. That's uh, that's for damn sure. But now he's going to go for um, a Scald here, which. He's kind of just switching back and forth between Water Pulse and Scald. He ends up getting the burn on that one, which does kind of suck. But uh, I'm just going to go for one more Poison Jab. Obviously, with the burn, it's not going to be able to take this thing out. And then, unfortunately, the Poison Damage is not enough. He lives it with, like, one HP, which is insane. I don't have Shadow Sneak on this Muck, so I can't just finish it off. So I have to actually just end up staying in here. He's going to go for one more Water Pulse, and I actually end up living that with 4 HP. Muck is so damn specially defensive, it's, it's pretty crazy. But I do get confused, and I break through it, and I'm able to go for a Poison Jab. Really doesn't matter, because if I did hit myself in confusion, he would just die to his Poison Damage anyway next turn. But at least, you know, I got another jab in. So, <laughs> down goes Play-Doh, and uh, he did his job. I don't have to worry about the Mega Blastoise anymore, so we're looking pretty good. So, now he's going to go back into the Amber Palm. Um, I actually just end up going into Scizor, which is perfect. Running with scissors is dangerous as hell, and this Amber Palm's about to find that out the hard way. He goes for the fake out, cut, it cuts himself in his hand a little bit, but uh, he's a tough guy, so he's, he's going to hang on there. Um, I get some leftovers. Honestly, fake out does like leftover damage, so that's not really making much progress there, as he is now going to go for a knockoff. Going to get rid of my leftovers, and really doesn't do a whole lot of damage at all. I kind of expected him to switch out there, so I went for the U-turn rather than the bullet punch, but either way, it is going to take care of the monkey, and... Scizor is going to come back to me as I'm now just going to switch into my Crocodile. Seems like a safe option because I'm faster than anything on his team. And he ends up going into the Lucario here. So I know I'm going to outspeed and I'm going to go for the Earthquake. I really just hope that he's not Focus Sashed here. I don't have Stealth Rock up so it is still intact. But it turns out he is Focus Sashed. So he is able to live an Earthquake which is actually kind of scary. Because now at this point he's able to go for a close combat to finish off my Crocodile. And uh, I was kind of saving Kruk just basically for uh, a win condition. I knew that if his Lucario wasn't focus sashed, I could finish off the rest of his team. But of course he was. So no late game Crocodile sweep today. As now I'm just going to go into Scizor. The only really thing I can do is bullet punch this thing. Get that priority to be able to take it out at 1 HP. Um, this thing actually would have been very scary if my Scizor was dead at this point. Because I don't have anything faster than Lucario. And that thing hits like a damn truck. So luckily I did save my priority which is nice. And now his last Pokemon is the Nido King here so I just go for a bullet punch against it gonna get some pretty solid damage there as he goes for earthquake which is interesting because that shows that this is a mix attacking Nido King which you don't see very often um, so that was that was kind of cool he ends up getting a critical hit which is gonna take care of Scizor which kind of sucks but all I really have to do at this point is just go into my Mega Aerodactyl and an Earthquake will be able to finish this thing off. So that's going to be the end of that match there, guys. It actually ended up being way closer than I expected it to. But I've been having some fun with this team. So expect a couple more uploads with these guys. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for some more Wi-Fi battles. Also, I will have a Let's Play up here within the next um, week or so. I'm kind of waiting on some uh, layout designs and stuff like that. But it is in the works. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Peace out, guys.